A big celebration today in Tarpon Springs for Epiphany Day, the annual event that celebrates the baptism of Jesus Christ by John the Baptist. One of the most popular events, the cross dive. Andrew Dowd was there and has more on the ceremony and, of course, the winner. Hi, Andrew. Hey, and thousands of people were here today covering almost every bit of the grass that you see behind me. They were bundled up in jackets, some brought blankets. It was a windy, cold day, but it didn't stop 43 young men from diving into the water. It's probably going to be like 50 by the time we get On an overcast day in Tarpon Springs, Peter Smith and 42 other young men dressed in t-shirts and swimsuits did what they could to stay warm. They gathered outside St. Nicholas Cathedral to carry out a 108-year-old tradition. Each year, the teenagers take the plunge in the spring bayou, climb in a boat, and with thousands looking on, dive for a white cross thrown into the water by the archbishop. I went down about halfway to where I thought the cross was, and just started swimming across the bottom and slowly running out of breath and then I said okay just a little bit further and I saw it. The one who surfaces with the cross is said to have a year of blessings for himself and his family. This year Smith popped out of the water with an expression of disbelief. The whole time I was thinking okay I'm, I'm gonna wake up from this dream now. His dream was a reality. <laughs> Keeping with tradition, the rest of the young men put him on their shoulders and walked him back to the church to celebrate and pray. We're all friends out there, and you know, it's not really, it's not who wins, it's, it's more important about the experience. And I spoke to Smith's mother. She said that his uncle actually retrieved the cross back in the 1970s. Smith said today is not about winning or losing, it's about celebrating his faith. We're live in Tarpon Springs, Andrew Dowd, ABC Action News.